The family of Isabel Leyland decided she should be buried in the community where she grew up, not far from the streets she left 22 years ago to escape the violence of Ulster's troubles, and where in tragic irony she was murdered by an IRA sniper while home from England visiting her frail elderly mother. Brian Leyland and his four children were followed into church by Jolene McAllister, who was walking hand in hand with Isabel when she was shot. There too, four-year-old Kira Clark, who narrowly escaped death while out with her granddad, who was injured in the arm in the shooting. Hundreds of people from the Ardoin area joined family and friends to bid farewell to Isabel. It was a gesture of sorrow and anger at the death of one of their own. And we all feel responsible in some way for Isabel's death. But we all have to say that we are sorry for what we have done and what we have failed to do. After the service, the coffin was carried from the church through the streets, down past the spot where she so tragically died. It was a procession of remembrance for a lost life and a reminder to those here that the terrible violence is so close to them all. Eric McInnes, ITN